Hi everyone, Sean here with HPE. Well, the new HPE Morpheus VM Essentials migration feature is finally here, and with it comes the ability for you to reduce your VMware footprint by moving workloads from your VMware environment into your VM Essentials or even your HPE Morpheus Enterprise environment. Let's do a quick run through of how this is accomplished. First thing you need to do is log into your manager here, and you need to ensure that you have clouds connected, so your vCenter and your HVM cluster inside of a Morpheus cloud both need to be enabled, and your vCenter does need to have inventory enabled so that we can suck in those VMs. We're going to go over to Tools, Migrations, and we're going to add a new plan. Now this plan is just a plan, it does not actually initiate the migration, so we're going to group a series of VMs together that we've already taken an outage for. So we'll go ahead and grab these ones. Now the assumption here is that the VMs have been prepared for migration ahead of time. We do have documentation on what you need to do per operating system. The next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna select the network for our target VMs and the storage for our target VMs. Now if any of the VMs in your plan have multiple networks or they are on different networks, you will get a drop down for each of those networks and they will be aligned to that and the same for the storage here. You do need to have a account on all of the VMs that has access as an administrator or sudo access. So we're going to go ahead and put ours in there with our super secret password. We can skip pre-checks or skip the guest tools installation, but I don't want to do that right now. So we're going to go ahead and hit next and we are going to complete. Now we have four pending VMs waiting for migration. So as soon as my outage time comes, I can go ahead and run this. We'll be able to see our source VMs, where they're coming from, where they're sitting at, what their current IP addresses are. We've got nothing in the destination and nothing in the history yet, but I'm going to go ahead and run this. And as it runs, it's going to do a few things. It's going to do some pre-checks ahead of time to make sure that it can connect properly to those VMs. And you can see our history tab is already populating. If it can validate that it can connect to those VMs, validate the operating system and configurations are all there, then it will continue on. Now, if any of these VMs fail in this state, they will actually fail, but the other ones will keep running it. It will show as failed overall in the plan, but that is because not every single system migrated. Now we'll sit here and watch the history for a minute and we'll go ahead and look at where we're at. We've already prepared source workloads. What that means is if we go over to our provisioning instances tab, we're gonna see four Husk VM shells that are waiting for that uh, storage to get migrated over. All of the data is gonna be migrated. Now these are small VMs so that I could do this quickly. Uh, and the time that it takes to do this migration is going to be limited by your environment and by the VMware OVF export throttling that is going to be in place. This does happen over the management plane. So it goes from the ESXi management plane to the HVM management plane. We'll go back to our history here. And on average in my environment, I'm seeing about three and a half to four minutes for these VMs are about 20 gigs thin provision, but they do get thick provision uh, on their way over. You do have to have that amount of storage anyway for the OVA to be cloned over. So this transfer should take just a couple of minutes. So I will probably speed up the video here. And once it is done, we will hop back in and I will show you uh, what's going on. All right, looks like that finished up pretty quickly here for us. We've got what? Three, just under four minutes, four minutes, four minutes. Now again, this is gonna be fully dependent on your environment and your network settings. Since everything's going over the management plane here, your configuration and your mileage may vary. These are small VMs in a lightweight lab environment. The more you have going on, the more that it has to be throttled by your VMware environment and by your networking, you're gonna see different, different settings and different outputs here. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got in our plan now. So our progress shows all completed, everything is good. We can see our source and destination just like we had in the prep. Our source VMs are powered off. They got powered off as soon as we started that data transfer. So you do need to make sure that you're in an outage to be able to do this migration. Our destination here, all of those VMs are up. They do have IP address set. Now these are DHCP in my environment, but we have tested this with uh, static IP addresses and it works just as well. And then again, in our history tab, we were just looking at that, how everything went down. We can go over to our instances tab now and we can see all of those shells. Those are full VMs with those IP addresses. We'll go ahead and click on one of them just to take a look. 
go over to our history to see the history of this particular instance, and we can see the full provisioning lifecycle of this VM. When there was configuration, deployed, and when it was deploying that virtual machine, that's when the uh, data was being transferred. It's that start virtual machine, and then we actually have a startup task. You see it took about a minute, a little over a minute of that full four minutes for this thing to come up. So the data transfer was actually done quicker than that in my environment. Then we have some post provisioning operations, things like that. You know, creates my Linux user. Uh, does some stuff that I want to have happen on my VMs when I provision them. So hopefully this was helpful. A quick, brief introduction into the migration capabilities here. And we'll have some more deep dive information coming out. And feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.